pudding. Okay, let's turn this leftover rice into dessert. I've got a couple eggs here. I'm just gonna beat them real quick. Get them nice and mixed up. Now I'm gonna add a cup of milk. I'm using whole milk. It really doesn't matter what you use. Um, obviously it's gonna be a little bit richer with whole milk than it is with skim. All right, just get that mixed in real quick. Now I'm gonna use a can of condensed milk. So this is sweetened condensed milk. It already has vanilla and sugar in it, so it's gonna make it so that we don't have to add those kind of things. It's also gonna make it so rich and creamy and delicious. You know I love my condensed milk, so shouldn't be too big of a surprise to you. So again, this is just a 14 ounce can. Get this added in. All right, that already makes it feel a lot richer and creamier. Okay, now I'm gonna add a couple grates of nutmeg here. You can use already grated if that's what you have. And then some cinnamon. Oh my goodness, that smells good. All right, get that stirred in a little bit. All right, then we have a couple cups of leftover rice here. And this is just some long grain white rice left over from a curry that we made um, last night. So obviously it's just plain old regular rice. This is a great way to use up some of those leftovers. And then I've got a quarter cup of raisins here. If you don't like raisins, you can just leave them out. You could also use dried cranberries, dried cherries, kind of whatever you want. This is kind of the classic old fashioned rice pudding. We'll just get this mixed around a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna go grease an eight inch square baking dish and I will be right back. Okay, the pan is greased. We're just gonna pour the mixture in here. I'm gonna give it a quick stir just to make sure all the raisins aren't in one spot. Now I'm gonna stick this in a 375 degree oven for about 45 minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Look at that guys. Our rice pudding is out of the oven. It has been cooling for a little while but it's still warm. I personally like rice pudding warm. I feel like if you're gonna eat a comfort food, that warmth just adds that little bit of extra comfort. But if you'd like it chilled, go ahead and chill it. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. For some reason, when I'm doing classic old desserts like this, I like to use my great grandma's old berry spoon and do it in my great grandma's china. So let's see what we got. Look at that. Now you can serve this with um, a little bit more cinnamon or a nutmeg on top or just eat it just the way it is. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.